Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Capricorn their monthly love read. Capricorn, this is for June 2022. So we're going to get into um, the person on your mind, what they're thinking and feeling, what blockages are in this relationship, actions that will be taken, and outcomes. It's a bit condensed um, to what I usually do. Um, but that's what I'm doing today. So uh, we're also going to get a couple Oracle cards, message cards, and then we're going to end the read off with um, heart songs of the 90 songs and the keys of love um, to finish your read. So if you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Um, if not, that's okay, too. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for your views. Um, if you feel like this reading is really off base, then feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will give you some info to get um, your moon and risings and your houses and your signs for just about everything. So um, also there's a link in the description box below. If you're interested in a personal read, you may check that out. So thanks again, guys. And let's get started for Capricorn. So what is your person thinking and feeling? So we have the five of wands, the six of wands, the strength card and the justice card. <laughs> so I feel like your person thinks that you have, um, I'm not clarifying today, guys. Um, I really want to, in every read I've wanted to clarify, but I'm choosing not to because I need to get these out. So I'm trying to make it go a little faster. Um, so I'm just going to tell you kind of what comes to me versus um, getting that clarification 100%. But so I feel like your person thinks that you have a lot of people vying for your attention. I feel like they think that you are out seeking or dating a lot of people um, or you are in a conflictual relationship that is going to be ending in divorce. Um, so either way, you're kind of distracted, right? Like you might have a lot of suitors or you might be in a conflictual situation where there's going to be a separation or a divorce. Um, I think that your person definitely feels like this relationship with you could be very victorious, that love will conquer all. Um, and But they recognize that it's going to take some strength to kind of get to the um, situation uh, or get through the situation. So I'm kind of getting two different little vibes. So I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to just kind of reiterate. So I think your person could think that you have a lot of suitors, but you're going to be, they're going to be victorious in this situation with you. Um, it's going to take some strength on their part to kind of pull through, but things will balance out. Or your person thinks that um, you are in a conflictual situation that's going to end in divorce. Um, but they realize that this situation between the two of you can be victorious and it requires strength. Um, also, um, I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo. We have the strength card plus the five and the six of wands. And then we have the justice card. So you could be dealing with a Libra, but signs are really irrelevant in tarot. I mean, they can help somewhat, but there's so many different signs and houses and uh, signs are, um, there's lots of signs in lots of places in your charts. So, all right. What are the blockages in this situation? What are the blockages in this situation? Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. Um, I think you're in a, I think you're in a committed relationship. I think that's what the blockage is. So um, hopefully Capricorns on your part, you're not wanting to be in a committed relationship and this is not going to be like a home wrecking situation, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to leave it uh, as it is. So the blockage is we have the page of cups, the 10 of pentacles, the eight of swords and the two of swords. So I feel like um, the blockage is that there's like um, lots of confusion, right? Um, people are feeling blinded. People are feeling like they're not sure what path to pick. Um, so that could be you. That could be them. Um, you know, maybe it's a very delicate situation. So they don't want to approach you because you're married, which would be very respectful, right? Um, or maybe it's a situation where they don't feel like... Um, they're good enough for you. They're kind of like self-sabotaging and um, they're in a reality that's not really realistic. They're, they're thinking that they're bound. They're thinking that they're um, unable to make a move, but they really can if they wanted to. So I think that the blockages um, 
or that someone someone's at a kind of a crossroad and they're really kind of stuck. And I wish I could clarify. I don't know 100% if this is you or them or both. I almost feel like this is your energy of trying to figure out what you want to do. And this is their energy of like not really making a move. They're just kind of in a self-sabotaging mode and just staying stuck up in their head and not really finding out what's happening. They're just kind of assuming what's happening. But we also have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles as a blockage. These are really good cards most of the time. Um, you know, the Page of Cups is an offer in love and the Ten of Pentacles is a, a solid commitment, um, marriage, uh, family, financially stable situation. So if this is the blockage to me, I feel like uh, the fact that you're married or in a, a committed relationship is the problem. And that, um, you know, maybe there's an apology that's required that's not happened yet um, between you and this person uh, on your mind. This is a sticky one, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get the actions. What is your person what what is your person gonna do? What are their actions gonna be in this situation? Well, hey. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um, so I think your person's going to ooh, manifest you, but we're not doing bottom of the deck energy either. Um, I think your person's going to get their finances stabilized. They're gonna kind of get into this energy of getting themselves where they want to get to before they come towards you. Um, the reason I think it's going to be a minute, which is probably good because I think you're in a relationship, um, is because the temperance card is here. So there are things are going to, they're going to wait for things to kind of balance out. They're going to work on themselves. They're going to get themselves stabilized. They're going to get themselves financially stable and uh, just like I think overall get their ducks in a row right and focus on themselves and their energy and that singular energy they're going to wait for things to stabilize the temperance card is like about patience it's also about balance um, you can see he has the sun and the moon and those are both needing to kind of come into balance so I think that the um, your person's going to kind of get their ducks in a row they, they're going to be contemplating these plans and how to get to you, what to say to you, um, how to take action. And they're going to come and they're going to bring this cup of love to you. I don't think it's going to happen necessarily this month, but this person is going to tell you how they feel. They're going to be a direct communicator. They're going to tell you how much love they have for you. They're going to tell you how their heart overflows with love. Um, they're going to be very direct. They're going to be open and honest, um, but they're going to be thinking about how they're going to express their love to you, and they're going to express their love to you. <laughs> Good gravy, guys. All right. Let's see. What is the outcome going to be between you and them? There's that magician again. Ah, like, uh, nice. <laughs> All right. So basically, guys, um, they're going to uh, the outcome is going to be a manifestation of you. Um, they're going to manifest you into their lives um, because this is a soul connection. This is like a soulmate energy. Um, there's the Ace of Wands here too. Um, it's a passionate true love with the ace of cups and the ace of wands passion and love soul connection this person loves you and has desire for you and i think you're gonna feel that as well so um you know i don't condone breaking up households but i do necessarily i don't uh, but i do often know that sometimes you know we're not necessarily with the right people or with we're with the right people at the wrong times and things kind of don't line up but in this situation for the outcome they're going to manifest you towards them it's going to be the magic stick action it's going to be uh, something that occurs <laughs> uh, i feel like they are going to go from this apathetic sad kind of feeling um and they're going to move on to calmer waters which is going to be to get you to come to them I think your person is going to be going through, I think you, honestly, Capricorn, are going to be going through this judgment phase of um, really kind of figuring out what it is that you want, um, really kind of figuring it out, figuring out what do you um, want in your life, what are you willing to do to get what you want in your life, 
Um, you're kind of going to judge yourself and analyze yourself and evaluate your situation um, and, you know, figure out what brings you true happiness and you're going to make movements towards that. Obviously, I don't think you're going to do it in a destructive manner. I think it's going to be much more constructive. I think this might be why you have this apathetic feeling too, but you are going to move on to calmer waters. Um, I kind of feel like this person on your mind is the calmer water. And they have love and passion for you. And this this is showing like new love and new passion, right? But this could also be um, a, a new start with somebody old. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. The Queen of Wands, which again regenerates a Leo. But then there's the Hangman, which is a Pisces. I mean, there's lots of signs here, but... All right, guys, let's get a couple Oracle cards, see what else pops out for you, Capricorn. This is the Destin Love Oracle deck by Spiritual or Ayana Spiritual Babe Tarot. Extroverted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Home, Twin Flame, Loyal. Yeah, so I feel like, guys, uh, Flo, I feel like, um, I don't know who's extroverted. You might be extroverted. They might be extroverted. I don't know. Um, but I definitely think they feel like home. And I think that, uh, you know, Twin Flame and Home to me is the Four of Wands card. I think this is a Twin Flame connection. I kind of feel like you guys have been kind of going along the path, um, whether it is in this lifetime or multiple lifetimes, right? Um, I feel like sometimes in this lifetime you don't reconnect with your Twin Flame. Um so, you know, there's that. This could be a uh, connection in the future in terms of another lifetime, but I kind of feel like it's more current. Um, but I think in Twin Flames, sometimes, you know, we don't align in this lifetime and they, we don't come back together because if you know about a Twin Flame connection, um, there's lots of growing that needs to take place in spiritual ascension and you both have to be ascending. And if you're not, then you don't necessarily come back together. But um, in this lifetime. All right, but let's get a couple of White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages. This is Volume 2 for Capricorn and their person. Um, I never cared so deeply for someone before. I think it's going to be super intense, guys. I wasn't looking for this. I don't know how to deal with this. I think that's you. I think that's you because you're going to be like, I'm happy with what I have. I wasn't even looking for this. What the heck? Um, I didn't fall in love with you because I've always loved you and always will. I think Pisces had that same one, guys. So perhaps um, Pisces, you're dealing with a Pisces. All right, so this one, I think this is definitely a past connection. Um, so I'm going to pull some cards from You Have My Heart, Soul Lovers and Separation from Angelic Revelation 144. If you feel like this is a new person coming out of the woodwork, then just disregard this um, chunk of messages, okay? Chunk. <laughs> Holy smokes. I am silent due to going through the dark night of the soul. I feel like an emotional roller coaster and I don't have the strength to communicate with you right now. Hmm. Oh, there's three here. Um, I dream that that I will wake up to you, but when I wake up, you are not here. I feel heartbroken every morning. I want you here in bed with me so that your face is the first thing that I see every day. And the thought of being with you one day is what gets me through today. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. All right. Let's get um, one last card for Capricorn. So this is the deck, um, the Heart Songs of the 90s, Songs in the Key of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are songs from the 90s. Um, the song itself might resonate with you. Um, personally, you might say, like, this was my favorite song back in the 90s or if you were born in the 90s. Or if you were if you were raised in the nineties, um, you might really feel like this song resonates about a person that's on your mind, um, or it could just be that you need to listen to the lyrics. So, um, you have now and forever from Richard Mark Richard Marks. Um, sometimes I just hold you too caught up in me to see. I'm holding a fortune that heaven has given to me. I'll try to show you each and every way I can. Now and forever. I will be your man. All right, guys. So that's done. That closes off your reading, Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe again if you feel inclined to do so. If not, no worries. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.